Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Last Dinner video. Today, we got episode 6. Let's start off our day by claiming some daily rewards. Here, as you can see, I've claimed my military backpack already. It's day 12. We already got it. And if you take a look, it goes into your inbox, but you cannot find it there because it's already on my back. We already got it on. And by just doing and equipping it like that, you get extra 5 slots. Once I get my tactical backpack, which we will get from doing either arena, which is here. This is where you can get your backpack, your tactical backpack, or by doing supply, which is this, which will start on 31st August. Now, let's also start recycling this Winchester that I got from somewhere. I forgot where I got it from. Probably police station. Yeah. On the previous episode, we ended with the 30 red tickets. So let's go open them up right now. And here goes 30 red ticket. Goddamn. There's no way. Dude. Oh my lord. This is our first red ticket. Crate. And we get a chopper fork already. Is what I needed and what I asked for. Okay. This has to be the most luckiest account I've ever made. Well, I'll take that any day. Delete the paint and grab the gas. Get rid of. I don't know. Let's just get rid of the spear and take the caps. But yeah, that's it, man. Look at this thing right here. And since I still have this cut finger right here sitting, let's actually open that as well. This is where the cut finger goes. Some free loot here. Grabity grab. We get always the same loot. There we go. Let's go back to our base now. And look at that. There's an event called Rest Stop or Junkyard. Let's see what this event is. Is it Junkyard? It is Rest Stop event. So take a look at this. We have eight minutes to get to this Rest Stop event. You need a chopper to get here, which means... Well, we already can get the chopper done because we got the chopper fork right there. So we have to go back to the base real quick, real fast. So we are home and let's go to our chopper right here. There's the chopper fork. This is where it goes. I'm going to just press fill up on that thing. There you go. Finalize. Our chopper is completed. It's done. There it is. It's just done. There's go. There goes gas in it. There we go. Look at that. We can put gas. We can only have two slots at the start, by the way. Let me show you what we're going to do first. Is we are going to put stuff away first of all. That's what I'm going to do. Let's just put stuff away. Grab one gun. Let's let's actually grab this Glock that I got here with a green laser. And I'm just going to take this armor to the rest stop. Let's take some carrots. 20 carrots is more than enough. I'm going to grab self-healing even though it won't recharge. Let's take some water bottles. Some gas that you can take out and yoink. So you need empty bottles for that. But now let's use up these bottles. You need to have empty bottles. Another thing you can do is actually take the gas canister and empty the gas with gas canister. So if you, for example, take a look. Once you use the gas up, there you get an empty canister. And with that empty canister, you can take gas out. So when you find a chopper with gas, you can basically take the gas out. And that's what you can do. So for example, if I took this one right now, let's actually take that for demonstration. I'm going to take three gas and let's see what happens there. So let's go on the chopper. Just by going on the chopper, we can drive it just like that. Boom, it's done. We got our default bike, blue chopper skin. Look at that, you can't even ram into zombies. But do note, on the top left, you can see there's a chopper durability and health bar. So if it's 100%, it's not broken. There also shows you fuel and how much fuel you got. But let's now leave the zone. In order to take the chopper with you, you have to sit on the chopper and just drive out the zone with it. Now, once you drive the zone out of it, look at that. We have our chopper. You can see fuel on the top left and yeah. Look at that. We can now also go to this airdrop. Even if you press walk or run, you're still going to have your chopper with you. So that is pretty amazing. Now let's run to this airdrop. Once we do that airdrop, let's do that rest stop event. That is going to be very nice. Just like that. You can also store some loot in the chopper too. So let's say you looted an airdrop. You can store some loot in it. Okay, there's not a single enemy. We got a free airdrop. What do we get? Saw blade, iron bars, engine parts, very nice loot. I love getting saw blades and glocks from airdrops. That's like free loot you get every single day, three times per day. It's pretty nice. And we got a dealer as well, but our goal today is to go to that rest stop. So take a look at this. You can only drive to the rest stop. You cannot use energy. So my tip for you, what you can do is empty your chopper fully out to five gas, which you could do in a zone. And then once you drive there, you can use speed up with energy. Or what you can do is just run to the very closest here to save your gas. And once you do that, you just click drive like so. So here we are. This is the rest stop event. As you can see, there's enemies right here. They're marked yellow. By the way, they are enemies. They will shoot you once you get in the range. So here's how you can do this event very easily. Look, they start shooting each other. 
And once they start shooting, I can just start shooting them as well. Let's also grab some heals because I don't have heals in my pockets, dude. And I cannot kill this guy because he has long range with his AK. But there we go. They had guns. As you can see, I killed this guy. He had some guns on him. This guy had some nails on him. Let's take it all back into my pockets, boy. -o. We got some iron bars as well. Look, that's just amazing loot we get right there. I'm taking all of these. This is very nice for us. We are level 58 with that chopper. Now we can continue looting this chest here. And it might have something good like bauxite, for example. Look, you will need bauxite a lot. So rest stop is going to be your bauxite bank. You're literally going to get bauxite every single time you do this rest stop. There's going to be times where you just get a lot of them. Sometimes you can get up to 20 bauxite per rest stop event. Some stuff we could get, which might be on more guns. You will get guns mainly from the chopper, which is right here. You can loot that chopper and you will get one dealer crate or a gun or both. We got a gun and a dealer crate and some iron bars. And yeah, this medkit, I will use it up because I don't have space. Let's open this. Maybe we'll get a machete. Maybe we'll get a Glock shotgun. M16. Boom, M16. Okay, shotgun. Not bad. Very nice. Look at that. Rest up. We got two guns. No, we got three guns. One, and then the third one is literally that shotgun. Maybe these guys are gonna also have a gun. No, they don't. So yeah, there goes that. There's also the fuel in the chopper, as I was mentioning earlier. So we can go put in the empty bottles right there. We yoink out some gas, and now you take this gas back and put it back in your chopper like that and fill it up. And as you can see, if I fill up this canister as well, let me just fill up my chopper like that. And now we have these three empty canisters that I can use to empty this chopper out again. And pretty much we're just yoinking gas here is what we're doing. So just like that, you can see I can fuel it. And let's put in the rest of the gas here. Let's delete the empty bottle. That gas is just going to stay there. And let's grab the empty ones. Actually, you can recycle the empty ones, but they don't really have a use any other than yoinking gas. So you can either delete them or just recycle them. And yeah, there's one more chest that I haven't looted here. So let's grab it that. Gravity, we got a garden bed. What? That is just the first time I ever see that kind of loot here. And now the game wants us to go to the gas station in a chopper. So let's actually go there. I don't know what. Should I go back home or just go straight to gas station? I'll probably go straight to gas station though. Let's hop, bitty hop on our chopper and get off this property. Let's go to the gas station now. Let's use energy for that. As well as take a look at this. If you go to your skills right here, go to passive. If you get the skill called Biker, which is this, you spend 8% less fuel when driving a motorcycle. This is pretty important. You want to get that. As well as in gas station, once you go in gas station here, we want to talk to mechanics. So once you unlock your chopper, you get so many opportunities. And I will get into that later, what you get by getting the chopper. But we talk to the mechanic here and we have to upgrade our chopper right over here by giving her materials. So for example, look at this. One engine part gives 150 points. A spring gives 50. So you basically give loot to her, whatever is displayed here. And on the left, you can see here, updates in 24 hours. This doesn't get shown on gas station, but it gets shown on literally here. Look at this. You, you see that? Just tilt your neck a little bit. There you go. Here's a little bit of a neck exercise for you. And if you click on inbox, go to resources and grab some springs from there. There's also gas, but you don't want to give gas to her. This is kind of a waste. You're trading gas for XP, which I don't recommend doing. But if we give five springs to her, you can see, boom, that's filled up. You can only give five springs maximum. You cannot give more. And this is how you level up your chopper. Once you level up your chopper, you can choose either durability, either tank volume, speed, capacity, damage, and fuel saving. The first thing that you want to take, the first thing ever, is either fuel saving or capacity. Capacity will help you have one more slot as soon as you take that capacity which you get here you will be able to unlock one extra slot for your chopper so you can fit more stuff in it the second one would be fuel saving or the first one would be that if you care more about your gas you'd pick up fuel saving if you care more about slots you take capacity third one would be tank volume so you can fit more gas but obviously we want to use less gas first and then fit more gas so we use less gas makes sense right big brain move but uh, yeah that's how you level up your chopper and here as you can see engine or generator required the way you get engines is from junkyard and junkyard is not unlocked yet because we're not level 40 chopper in order to get an engine you go here to the highway this is called the highway but as you can see it's locked there's a car here blocking our way so we cannot leave or go to the highway yet that's mainly where you will get engines 
And you can get engines also from red zones and oak zones. But we have to upgrade the chopper though. So in my inbox, I have 20 bolts. I'm going to take the 20 bolts out and hopefully we level up if I... Yeah, there we go. We put that in. Boom, it's done. And now let's see what we get. We got volume. Tank volume increased to 5. So this is not good. Power is not good. Durability is not good. This basically just makes you your chopper do more damage when driving into zombies. And this makes your chopper last longer when you hit zombies. This doesn't really matter. Just take fuel. Now we're level 2. And yeah, since we got our gas tank, chopper, fork, chopper wheel, this is where you exchange your parts. So you will not need any of these gas tanks anymore. You will never need them in a game anymore. You just exchange them here. But yeah, that's it. Now let's go to home. Let's see what we got here. We got a medic. Let's take the medic here. Let's go back to our base. And in the story quest, we have unlocked <clears throat> the settlement finally. Look at that. And now we get a chopper pattern for that from the story here. We also get a shotgun from claiming that. So let's take all of that. It goes into my inbox. Nicely done. And that's it. That is it. We're not going to continue the story for today anymore. We are going to leave that for the next episode. You obviously need to learn what is the chopper good for? What do you do with the chopper? Well, most asked question first is going to be, what do you unlock first? Do you unlock this watchtower? Do you unlock the port? Or the sewers do you unlock bunker bravo but as you can see bunker bravo requires level 75. bunker bravo is very good when there's a bunker bravo event which is this it's right now literally available you can go to bunker bravo and as you can see damage done by ak-47 increased by 25 percent in bunker bravo makes the ak super good in bunker bravo zombies health reduced by 50 percent radioactive contamination decreased by half so pretty much bunker bow bunker brow becomes very easy to do on that event and you can do it three times during that event which if you know how to there's a trick to it but we're not going to be talking about that today anyways you want to go to port first you want to bring you will need to unlock a generator which is this this generator will be used for going to the sewers first you need 10 plates 15 bolts five aluminum five wrenches to build this generator once you build the generator you will then need to assemble it, which will cost even more stuff. But where you want to use your generator is here in the port, which we will get to that later. So let's go back home. We got, as you can see, a full inventory. Let's actually stash all the loot that we got. And the reason why you would want to go to this tower right here is because once you go to this tower and once you unlock it, there's going to be an AI based raid. There's going to be oak zones that you can do for farming oak. There's going to be winter zones that you can farm, which isn't really that worth in my opinion. But mainly oak is going to be used for, as you know, oak planks. So we could unlock that, but I'm not going to go for it. I'm going to go for something else. Let's, let's go back to our base now. So as you can see, when you get back to your base, your chopper is going to be located down here exactly literally there and in order to get a spot for your chopper you will need to build a garage building a garage now to build a garage you need bolts for that and i literally just put away my bolts dude oh my god i don't have bolts we're gonna put away all the guns we got we're gonna just stash all the loot that we got all the armor that i've got here as well and let it just sit there for now so now we need to hit a couple green zones to get those two bolts man so this is what exactly I'm going to do. Well, technically, you don't really need to build the garage yet because the garage is going to be used for basically repainting your chopper and repairing your chopper. And yeah, it's not really crucial to have a garage. But once you build a garage, you'll be able to just paint your chopper and stuff. So, hey, I'm just going to do that regardless. Let's farm some zones. Okay, so we are in that green zone. Uh, let's get that one bolt that i've got but where there's where is our one extra bolt that i need come on is the game really gonna tease me like that i need just one bolt all right so i'm done i guess we got the three bolts look at that we can go to our crafting menu now garage there it is let's build that garage goes in it's in special i think unique no it's in unique transport and garage there you go and we can exactly build it down there so this is my favorite spot where I like building it. Let's just build it here. And there you go. This, this is your garage, man. You get your chopper skins here that you can repaint. Look at that. You need paint for that. I don't collect paint, though. I'm not interested. This is where you wash your chopper. This is where you repair your chopper. Um, yeah, it's not really important to build a garage if you don't want to. But hey, if you break your chopper, then you will have to build a garage. I'm going to build more boxes in my base because that is a lacking and we need a lot of boxes i'm just gonna yoink all the stuff here for now it's like a quick deposit and 
What I'm going to do next is work on this electric generator. And we need five aluminum and bolts to make this electric generator. So that means we have to smelt more aluminum wires than we got from Bunker Alpha in a farm. That means it has to go exactly right here. And this goes exactly right here. And while that's smelting, I'm going to go farm some bolts. So yeah. So let's hoppity hop on our chopper and get to farming. Okay, so we are in a yellow zone. And let's just start looting, getting some bolts. I need to first make a weapon. Yeah, we're going to start punching this guy. Hopefully I don't lose my military backpack here. Let's use self-healing. We need two more logs. Okay, let's hopefully hope we get some bolts from here. That is the goal now, to get some bolts for the generator. Even though we will need more, because we'll have to assemble it regardless. So, yeah, please don't. No way. No way, man. I have to fight this guy. No way. I'm going to go to my inbox, weapon, and grab myself like a machete. Let's kill these guys like that. Kind of sucks I get a floater bloater, dude. There we go. He's gone. I hope that was worth it because the chest that I'm going to open better have some good loot in it. Oh my god. No way. There's... What? Like, are you serious right now? They decided to spawn an AI for me? Well, he had nothing that I could take, so that was waste. Okay, am I going to get like a big one now spawning? No, thank god. Okay, what do we get? Bolts, rubber parts and some. Okay, we got beer as well. Uh, we will need a lot of bolts for making the generator. Uh, we will need 55 bolts, I think, because a generator costs 15. Plus, you need 40 more to assemble it. Oh my god, there's a guy here. This is a roaming zombie as well. How do you get so fast here? We're going to take wires because we will need wires and duct tape as well for the generator. So, yeah, I will need a lot of stuff. And there goes another guy. Come on, man. I'm just trying to loot in peace. More bolts. Okay, amazing. Would be nice if I could get myself a hatchet or so. Okay, we got ourselves a hatchet. Let's start chopping some trees because my base has zero logs. I have literally nothing left in my base after I, I did bunker off of these spears. So I got to restock on some supplies and resources. Oh, look at this guy. What is he doing? What are you doing, sir? What you got for me? Nothing. But hey, he dropped something at least. Okay, and I just leveled up and we got a skill called Impregnable and this makes you get less damage from explosions. So I'm going to take that instead of look around. I feel like look around is garbage, so I'm just going to take Impregnable. Okay, so we got an airdrop and guess what? We don't have energy to get there, but now I can finally just drive there with my chopper. And we can also watch ads, but I can just use my gas. We got a skull crusher engine part and some... Maybe I should just take these ball bearings, actually. Because I need to, like, start stocking up and, you know, saving these things so I can put it to gas station, level up. Back to our home base with just the fuel. I'm literally wasting fuel right now. Like, I'm, I'm just going left and right, left and right, dude. Look at this. We just got back to our base and the chopper gets placed automatically in your garage now instead of at the very bottom of the map. So that's that. Since we got back, though, we got some beer. We got... A little bit of bolts. We still need a lot of bolts to make the generator though. Which is, yeah, we need five more. So I'll just keep farming. Oh, you know what we can do? We can go raid these bases right here. Oh my god, I was just literally thinking about that. Why don't I just go and raid that? But there's the problem. We don't have logs for that. So I'm just gonna go farm some logs. Actually, you know what? Screw this, dude. I'm too lazy for all of this. I'm just gonna go click auto on this zone. And this is gonna give us some items in the inbox. Like that. Logs, limestone. So look at this. We're gonna go back to our base now. We are not gonna take anything for the raid. All I'm gonna take is a hatchet and that's it. Just put it away somewhere. All we're taking is hatchets pretty much. Now I do believe some bases need an iron hatchet. So it's okay. I'm gonna bring two iron hatchets for this base. We're gonna be raiding. Also I leveled up. How did I level up? Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, let's take a camel so I get slower thirst. So this is what we're taking. One hatchet, two iron hatchets. The reason we're doing that because we will have some more ha stuff in our inbox and pine logs limestone is gonna be on in our inbox let's take our chopper with us we got another airdrop like i mean this game is just i don't know let's go to that airdrop i guess man i mean the thing is the airdrop is more worth than the raid itself so that's the thing let's punch this guy now let's hope that their airdrop is gonna have at least a glock or something so that i won't regret going here actually i never regret going to an airdrop what am i talking about all the airdrops that i go to is always a w right Hopefully, we don't get another Toxic Spitter, though. Boopity bop. Red ticket, iron bars, bolts. That's it. And some duct tape and wiring. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go now to this base. Use energy. 
You know, the funny thing is I should have raided this base way earlier in the game, but it happened that we're just raiding this very late. So do note, when you raid this, nothing will happen. Nothing's gonna happen. You won't get raided back or anything. It's just there as a start for your game. So this guy also has a chopper that we can loot. I don't think it's gonna have anything in the chopper though. Okay, it does have some gas in it. So hey, not bad. I'll take that, I guess. So I already got a chopper. So hey, it's we're not losing out on anything. We're basically stealing gas as well. Because if you raid this as a beginner, like completely, when you have no chopper, then I mean, yeah, you're gonna lose the gas out because you won't probably take the gas here. But now since we got the chopper, this is gonna help us a little bit. We can yank some gas. Boom, no more gas. So we completely cleaned this up. Let's put away this. That red ticket as well, and the gas goes in. And let's get rid of that. Okay, so now let's start off by chopping some walls here. We can start off by going here, I guess. Since it's a level 1 wall, and this is... No! Are you kidding me? I just used up that hatchet, dude! Oh my god, let's go to our inbox, let's go to resources, click locks, click pine, click limestone, let's craft a hatchet now. Always a worse hatchet is gonna be used for the wall, but if you don't have a hatchet anymore left then the better hatchet is going to be used, which is your last one. So if let's say you bring a C4 here. You're literally going to put a C4 on the level 1 wall. You don't want to do that. Okay, this broke. Let's craft another one. And that's what we're going to be doing pretty much. Let's break now this. As soon as it breaks, you have to craft another one. The reason I'm not crafting multiple hatches is because I don't want to delete them hatches later on or anything like that. So Okay, let's keep on going. Let's keep on breaching in. This base might have good loot, but I don't know. We'll see what it has. Let's craft another hatchet. And here is going to be a wooden wall. So let's break this in. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to break before it's actually enough. Oh, no. That was definitely enough. We got enough. So there's some loot here. I think this is a fully level 2 room. So we'll have to use our iron hatchet here. So let's break that. There you go. And we got one more hatchet left, so you need three hits to break a box. This is like an introduction to raids. Okay, four hits, sorry. That's only with when you have an iron hatchet. Let's grab the watch, the wrench. We don't need the torch, though. Even though I, if I could, I could take it, actually. But I don't think I have enough space for that, because later on, we're, we're gonna get a lot of stuff here. Let's craft another hatchet. Just keep on crafting it. And we got some armor, golf club, and a spear. I'm not taking the spear, though. Let's break this as well. I just need some bolts, man. Craft another hatchet. Some bolts and would be appreciated. Berries. Phone is nice. Very nice to get a phone. Okay, so let's break in it now to this part. We got a lot of goodies here. Some scrap. And let's not take seeds, I think. Let's not take plant fiber. There's going to be food in here, obviously. Okay, this chest is big. So maybe it's going to have something good. Let's break that. Boom. What it has. It has just some resources so not wiring not transistors med kit i don't know about med kit let's get rid of this though and grab the iron ores the logs the shovel is very nice by the way i don't need the berries i think so i'm just gonna get rid of that let's grab the shovel and break this i don't think it's gonna be enough okay some iron ore but yeah okay the hatchet broke let's just use up all the resources we get here and then once this hatchet breaks Okay, this, I'm not gonna be able to fit this. Okay, so we can fit the med kit. Fit that. Fit the jerkies. There's eight hides in here. I think we broke everything. Oh, no, we didn't. I'm gonna craft another hatchet and break this. And this is just two charcoal in there. Okay, there's nothing. So let's not take the limestone and the hatchet. And grab this. Grab that. Even though, what is this, dude? This looks like it's garbage or something. I don't know. That looks like it's meh. Not really worth it. Eight nails here. Uh, let's not take the pickaxe. Take the nails. We missed two boxes. Four boxes more. Wait. We're not going to have enough hatchets, dude. To even take all of the loot back here. Dude. Well, I'm probably going to take the carrots and not take the med kit. And let's put away some stuff in our chopper here. Let's put away that red ticket, dude. I'm, I don't know what to delete anymore. Maybe the cloth. Let's delete the cloth. Let's delete... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Let's delete the camera for now. Mobile phones will keep though. I'm gonna actually put some stuff away here and grab back the hatchets that I can't even craft anymore. Take it, take it. These boxes over here and hopefully hope that it's gonna have some limestone in it. Okay, so nope, it did not. 
that is all broken stuff by the way okay it broke let's grab another stack of limestone wait that's it i don't have more limestone okay so speaking of limestone we're gonna just go to weapon and just grab ourselves an iron hatchet because you do get iron hatchets from the season pass so let's take that because look at this on level five season pass yeah on level nine you get iron hatchets so this is why we have them in the inbox okay let's use up these iron hatchets i guess we got a glock for that and some bauxite um dude i don't know man let's not take the golf club then take the bauxite let's not take the limestone take the aluminum wires two springs though yeah i really don't have space anymore like it's over dude hopefully this hatchet doesn't break uh, i think i can break a little bit more boxes before it does break so let's take this is like useless this is all broken stuff man i can't really fit that i just need resources like bolts would be nice okay so we're not taking that we're not taking this hatchet yeah that's about it dude that's about it let's go back to our thingity thing here let's take whatever we can take the skull crusher instead of the logs or actually i'm actually gonna take logs instead of eight carrots because i need logs more now like i need logs a lot but yeah, that's what we got from this raid. Let's go back to our base now. Back to the base. Use some fuel. I'm literally gonna run out of fuel doing this, man. I'm just literally going place to place, place to place with my fuel. And look at this. We got back home. We recycled the Winchester. We got a steel bar. Very doubly in my opinion. Let's recycle this Glock. It's like 15-20% durability. It looks like it's 25% durability. Yeah, it's a quarter. So boom, put that in. Hopefully we get some goodies from that. Our aluminum is done here. And we literally got also another extra aluminum bar from just raiding that base. So let's see if we can build our generator yet. Yes, we can. So let's install it. Let's build that generator right there. Let's go to star icon unique electric generator. And you can just put it anywhere. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as you just put it down. And for that, you can see you need 10 aluminum plates, 40 duct tape, 10 gas, 40 bolts, 15 rubber parts, and 20 ball bearings to get this generator. I'm pretty sure they made the generator cheaper to build before it used to be very expensive to build. And we also got the tank gas for that. Look at that. There's the tank gas. And we have only three aluminum plates. So we need to like work on the aluminum plates, man. Because as you can see, I don't have aluminum bars to make those aluminum plates. We have only three and we need seven more. And to make aluminum plates, you need to use two aluminum bars to turn that into aluminum plate. So this is why we're going to keep smelting these aluminum wires. Hopefully, we're going to get, you know, enough to make it. So yeah, we're going to be finishing that generator in the next episodes. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. Because the next episode, we're going to be doing the arena. Then we're going to be also following... And completing Bunker Alpha 2nd, 3rd floor, and 4th floor, I'm going to show you the best ways to complete that. As well as, I'm going to be going to the sewers. Where, yeah, we're going to be doing the expeditions here. But as you can see, if you complete the story and survivor path here, you will be able to get the aluminum plates, which will help you in the long run. Plus, you need to unlock this quick. Because as soon as you unlock expeditions, you'll be getting daily loot from it. So that's the important thing about expeditions. You need to unlock this as soon as possible. And you need to progress in it as soon as possible and as much as you can. So yeah, that's it for today's episode though. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Today's one is a little bit shorter one. In the next episode, we're going to be probably exploring the settlement and doing expeditions. And then in the future, I will make a complete full guide on second, third, and fourth floor for Bunker. We already visited Bunker Alpha though. You got a glimpse of how that location works. I already shared a lot of tips for it, but we will make it more detailed in the next upcoming episode. So stay tuned for that. But yeah. That's about it for today's one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and peace out.